Oh, you can eat lobster, king crab legs, oysters, mussel, shrimp. Seafood paella. Instead of just regular seafood, it's filled with nothing but lobsters. And right here, we got the Cajun style seafood boil with lobsters. Whatever you want, she'll make it for you. Let me show you guys the dessert section real quick. Look at this. It's crazy. Oh, you can eat pink crab legs. Mm. Thanks, sir. Thank you. How you guys like it? The thing never go down. Your mimosa. Good morning, how are you guys doing today? It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Florida. Well, for the few next few hours. Uh, after that, at noon, it's uh, just a thunderstorm and stuff. So, yeah, so as you guys can tell by the top of the video, today we're gonna go to the Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gabriel for their famous Sunday brunch. The brunch costs about $120 per adult and $55 for kids. And personally, I don't think we're gonna eat $120 worth of stuff. Kid is definitely not gonna eat $55 worth of stuff. But it's one of those things where I just want to take my family here so that they can experience how it's like to eat at a buffet where it costs between $300 to $600 per night to stay here at the hotel. The brunch has a high quality item like lobster, caviar, Blue Point oysters, so it should be good. Um, but the thing is, uh, I read online and automatically there's a 20% tip, including your bill ready regardless of the service or not. And a lot of people, they don't seem to like that. But hopefully, that will not be the case for us today. Uh, one cool thing about the Biltmore Hotel is that it's a uh, U.S. Uh, National Historic Site. It was built in the 1920s. There was one point that um, Al Capone stayed there. Other the former U.S. presidents stayed there as well, like President Clinton. At one point, it has the world's largest swimming pool. And during the World War, it will serve as a hospital. Yeah, we're gonna have brunch there, and then uh, we're gonna explore around and show you guys. So yeah, so anyways, if you guys are ready for this brunch today, let's go. AKA Vomino's. It's a little bit early for us, so mommy is asleep. Big sister is asleep. The only one that's been a bad boy is this one. Are you ready to have your fancy lunch at the Bill Moore Hotel? Wow, I see that. Hello. Uh, what's, I'm good. You, uh, what's the buffet? The uh, brunch? Alright, thank you. This place right here is so fancy. I have our own shopping area in here. Make the left. And the right. Hi, hi. Uh, we have a reservation here for 10 30. For David? Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, thank you. Even the chairs. Fancy. So much history here. We'll walk around later on and explore the place. And before we continue with this video, I just want to say thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about Factor yet, Factor is America number one ready to eat meal delivery service that help you eat well for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef prepare dietitian approved 
ready to eat meal delivered right to your front door. You can choose from 35 plus chef craft meal every week that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences, whether it's calorie smart, vegan and veggies, protein plus, and more wholesome options. With this bustling holiday season, you can cross meal prepping off your list. Skip the meal planning, grocery shopping, chopping, prepping, and the worst part, cleaning up, and get factor, fresh, never frozen meal delivered right to your door. They're ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat it up and enjoy. It's about dinner time, and I just got my package in today. So let's go have a meal together real quick. You ready? So whenever you're ready to eat, just remove the outer packaging. Ah, look at that, looks so good. And then you use a fork, poke a few holes. Bring it over to the microwave, and then put it in for two minutes. Over here we have Indian butter chicken. How's it going? Good? Thumbs up. What Thumbs up? Mango spoon, yeah, I really love this mango spoon. Really? I got it from Factor. I just wanted to say thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. So for dinner tonight, we have sun-dried tomato chicken. It smells really good. Here you go. Cheers. Mmm, that chicken is really good. Eating bad is easy, but eating healthy is really hard. But with Factor, I don't have to worry about eating bad at all. I enjoy using Factor because it cut down on grocery trips cooking, and did I mention the cleaning up part? And the best part is that they are so flexible so I can easily adjust my order size. So I don't know about you guys, but with us, uh, after a long day at work, we gotta go home and then you gotta prepare dinner, and then you gotta help the kids with the homework, you gotta make sure they're fed, and then you gotta clean up. And then on top of that, you gotta think about what to bring for lunch the next day. But with Factor, all I have to do is bring a box to work and enjoy. And another cool thing about Factor is that they're owned by HelloFresh. So if you enjoy HelloFresh, you will definitely enjoy Factor. <sighs> wow, that was very delicious. So yeah, whenever you guys are ready to give Factor a try, head to factor75.com or click on the link below. Use code SRACHA50 to get 50% off on your first Factor box. Once again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code SRACHA50 to get 50% off on your first Factor box. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Hello. Hello, David. Happy anniversary. Hi, thank you. So the quadriad hmm? is um, it's closed. Okay. So I put you like, so you have a view of it, okay? Okay, all right. And uh, I talked to somebody on the phone the other day and uh, they said it was okay to make a video about this place. Enjoy. Okay? All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Happy anniversary. Thank you. My name is Matthew. I'm going to be taking care of you here today. Yes, sir. Have you joined us for our run before? No, sir. It's the first time. You're welcome. All right. So, uh, we do everything included. It's going to be your mimosas, bellini, sparkling wine. Um, we're going to be doing regular water, sparkling water. Um, can I get one? Sure. Water? Do we want uh, little plastic cups for the children? Okay. I'll have those up. Um, do you want to do any mimosas? Yeah, which, I'm sorry, which one is included with the... Yeah, with mimosas, the... bellinis, and sparkling wine are included. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Can I have get um, mimosa? Yeah, mimosa. two mimosa. And also, can I get a Coke as well? Yeah, Pepsi okay? Yeah, Pepsi's fine. Sure. Absolutely. And then, so, um, our breakfast and desserts are over here at the um, so, Montana restaurant. Over here in the Biltmore Bar, you're gonna have your sushi, caviar, carving stations, pasta, raw bar, smoked fish, all that kind of good fun stuff. So, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have just regular waters out for you, a couple of mimosas and a Pepsi. Yes, sir. More than happy to help yourself, okay? All right, thank you. Oh, perfect. We got the fan next to us, so it uh, won't be hot. Huh? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh hi, Edwin. Hey, I'm Edwin. Oh. So, Matthew. All right. Yeah, I heard a lot about you. Right. Get some regular water for our kids. Right. I'm gonna get a plastic cup for it. Right. Wow. 
मस्ती मार लग किधर है And uh, I asked the lady already, uh, uh -huh. I'm gonna be filming a YouTube video about this place, so... Okay. Okay, right. so I just wanna let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we're in your way or... No, no, yeah. Just let us know. Yes, sir. Alright. Alright, thank you. Good morning. Good morning, thank you. Do you have the voice trying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just two plastic. Hey, two plastic. <laughs> uh, we booked a table for the courtyard, but it was closed because of the rain yesterday. So we got a place right here next to the courtyard, which is not bad. I don't know if you heard that, but mimosa is included. So cheers. Oh, strong. Look how beautiful it is inside. Right in the courtyard, you got live music playing. We got here a little bit early, so uh, basically uh, there's nobody here yet. And so uh, let me show you guys what they have real quick. Come on, let's go. Through this door this is where the buffet is at. And over here, to start off, we have the Chakuri stations. So let me show you guys real quick. Right on top, we got the prosciutto. Oh, yeah. Look at the bread display. Come on. Right. We got the ham. So fancy, I can't even say the name. And then we got the cheese, artichoke, more cheese, mozzarella. And over here, we have the garden salads. And look how nice they uh, make the garden salad display. All kinds of fixing for your salads, including beet and cucumber. And look at this tomato with cheese. And as we go over here, we got the raw seafood sections. Oh, you can eat lobster, king crab legs, oysters, mussel, shrimp. And right here, we have the mixed ceviche, the whitefish ceviche shooter. So for the king crab leg, you guys uh, have it all year round or just? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. You got king crab, lobster, mm -hmm. oysters, mussels. Okay, all right. Thank you. And over here, we have, hello. We got the smoked fish, smoked salmon, smoked trout, smoked white fish, and smoked fish dip. As we go over here, we have yes. the caviar stations. Hello. Yeah, the mm -hmm. toppings, you got a uh, uh, pita, uh -huh. lamb bread, lamb bread. chives, capers, plain uh, cream cheese, cream cheese with chives, yolk, onion, and uh, egg white. Pecan kind of caviar. Bottle fish, salmon, and estorcho. Thank you. Let's go to the spoon right here. The spoon right here is all the hot item stations. As soon as you walk in here, you can smell it. No, really good. Over here, we have the carbon stations. Sorry enough, we got the crispy pork belly, sage infused turkey, rosemary leg of lamb. And right here, we have the roast sirloin beef. And then, um, these are the chef special. So let me show you guys real quick. Over here, we have the mashed potatoes, miso glazed Atlantic salmon, and right here, we got the Cajun-style seafood boil with lobsters. All right, and then we have the fresh mixed vegetable. All right, thank you. And right here, we have the Caribbean jerk chicken and then the saffron rice. Thank you. And over here, we have the paella. And look at this tray of paella. Instead of just regular seafood, it's filled with nothing but lobsters. And then if you're not into seafood, they have vegan paella. And as we move over here, we have the sushi stations. We have the chefs making fresh nigiri, ibi ibi. Look at all this freshly made nigiri. And then we have some freshly made sushi roll. And it's crazy when they have a piano in here. And over here, we have the pasta stations. 
So let me show you guys real quick. Over here, you have your make to request pasta. You pick whatever you want, and then the chef will make it for you. And right here is all the sauce. And over here, we have pasta, Italian sausage with tomato. And then we have the beef lasagna. How special meatballs. Not a lot of item, but everything looks very good. So let me show you guys uh, on another side real quick. Thank you, sir. All right, so as you come in here, we have the uh, breakfast item and the dessert. So let me show you guys around real quick. We got scrambled eggs, you got potato, you got bacon, and you got sausage. And over here, you got eggs benedict, french toast, and then you have waffles. And then right here, you have some oatmeal, fresh strawberry, pineapple, and blackberry, cantaloupe, raspberry, dragon fruit, blueberry, honeydew, and right here we have the ice cream and then they have coffee, raspberry, mango, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. And then of course you have all kinds of topping. And then look at this guys. Look at all this dessert. All you can eat pastry. And look at the dessert sections. Chocolate cream puff, hazelnut souffle, tiramisu. Passion fruit dessert, bread pudding. You got the sauce to go on top of your bread pudding. Chocolate dipped strawberry, sort of French macaroon, fruit tart, and look, they even have churros, cream brulee, pecan tart, flan. A whole room full of dessert, and it all looks good. Yum yum. Enjoy, cheers. Cheers. Happy anniversary. What? You said it was an anniversary to me. Ah. Did you say that? Yeah. When? Uh, it's kind of like an anniversary. When I first met you. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this makes my cheeks turn red. We're going to try some sturgeon. Caviar. Alright, you need to try one of each. And then the Alaskan salmon. And then the last one, what was the one to add last one? Alright, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, try it. How do you guys like it? What do you think? No? Not your thing. Only four year old and already eating sushi. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves some of this lobsters. Get this. Get two. And look at this. King crab legs. And then some of this blue point oysters. A little bit of Tabasco. Oh, you don't like it. Mm. Mm. Wow. It tastes so much. Um, you have that brininess. Really? Yeah, but it, it's good. It's good. It's not like the Gulf oyster. Try some kick legs? How big it is. Oh yeah. Alright, thanks sir.
Yeah. It's been there what? You know. Huh? You know. Yeah, I think so. Honey, you wanna try one? Mm. You wanna try this one? It's king crab. Yeah, I'm, I know we had a fancy restaurant, you said use a fork and stuff, but. It's so sweet, it's so good. Try out this lobster tail. I don't know why I got one and a half. Yeah, I got one and a half, I don't know why. Dip in some basket sauce. And what you hear in the background is actually a guy playing a guitar over there. Live music. You enjoy yourself, honey? Huh? Stop drinking it, nigga. Huh? Stop drinking it. You want to try some lobster? That was a really good first round. Um, let's go try some of that caviar. Sir, can I try one more sample? Yes, Over here, they have three kinds of um, caviar, paddlefish, Alaskan, and sturgeon. And uh, you can get a sample of everything right here. Uh, what do you recommend putting on top of this though? Like, uh, uh huh? It's fresh. Because you that way you're not gonna hold to the flavor of the cod, right? Okay. You're gonna taste the saltiness of uh -huh. the cod and then the creaminess. Okay. So There's just a little bit of cream on top. Yeah, just put a little bit on top. Uh huh. And just eat it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Can I try some uh, sirloin, please? Just a little bit. Just a bit. Just a little bit. I want to try everything. Thank you. Do you like the rare, medium rare? Yeah, medium rare is good. Medium rare? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Right. Yeah. Just, Thank you, sir. On top? Or? Yes, sir. Just on top. Just a little bit on top. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank yes, you sir. for coming. Thank you. And also, can I try some of this, too? And one, too? Yes, sir. Just a little bit, too. I just want to try everything. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You want a uh, uh, pepper coin? Which one do you like? <laughs> pepper coin. Pepper coin? All right. Pepper coin it is. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And lastly, can I just try a little bit of the uh, crispy uh, pork, pork belly? belly? Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. All right. Thank you, sir. Alright, yeah, right there is good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy, sir. Thank you. Okay, so for round two, we're gonna try some caviar. Oh, snap. I forgot. Okay, I think the little one, that is paddlefish. Um, you say you don't want to mess with the um, saltiness of the eggs. So we're just gonna add a little bit of cream on top. And then, cheers. Now I see why my wife doesn't like it. My taste is not so sophisticated, but to describe it, it feels like you're eating bread with like salt pudding. And right here we have the um, Alaskan. The Alaskan, you actually pop in your mouth, so that's like bubble of um, salt pop in your mouth. And right here we have the sturgeon. Sturgeon was very salty. And here we have the um, crispy pork belly. Oh. Mmm. Wow. You want to try this one? Really crispy. I like it. It's like lechon. You right? Mm. Did you get some um, king crab? King crab? Can I grab you some? Hey, come in during the summer. Uh, it's a little bit hot sitting outside, even though there's a fan right next to us, it's still hot. 
Now we're gonna try some of this sirloin, medium rare. Wow, very moist, very tender. And over here, we got the lamb with the peppercorn sauce. The lamb is good, but I like the sirloin much better. So now we're done with this. Let's go grab some seafood paella. Lots of seafood paella. I'm just gonna ask you, uh, can I get some more Pepsi and then a cup of ice? Yes, sir. And um, is there a time limit on this buffet? Is there a time limit? Yeah. No, a time limit. Like, yeah. Yeah. There is? No, no, no. So, you gotta say is that like? all day. Okay. Yes, sir. You want. All right. Thank you. So after you're done eating, just relax and uh, eat again. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, there's no rush or anything like that, so. It is called it is raspberry. Raspberry? Yeah. Wow. Raspberry. You say there's no time limit. Stay all day if you want. The lechuga was really good, so can I help you add some more, sir? All right, thank you, sir. Wow, thank you. Can I please try some of this lobster and paella? Oh, you can eat lobster paella. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. For you, my lady. What's this? That's a seafood paella. I'm gonna grab some more of this king crab legs. How's the paella? Not good? Oh, okay. I asked uh, if there's a time limit and they say there's no time limit. So I don't know if they should tell me that or not though. So I got some more blue point oyster. You wanna try a blue point oyster? No? I don't think these are blue point though. I think these might be goat. Mm. Back at home, these go for um, $36 a pound. Mm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. They know my wife's weakness. That's why I keep on coming by and fill up the mimosa. They're not gonna get me though. Oh. Mm, man, you know if this was in the afternoon, whew, they'd be in trouble. Only got one lobster this time. Oh, look at that. So good. Today will be a day to have two stomachs. Yeah, I'm eating for you, mom, me, and big brother. Let's go get that seafood paella now. Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> the mimosa never go empty. Alright, thank you, sir. Okay. Every time you try to drink it and make it go down, it go right back up. Oh, you enjoy yourself, honey? Happy anniversary. Yes, ma'am. Can I try some of this in a seafood paella? All right, see? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Like for the past couple of days, I'm eating green, so let's get some of this green real quick. I am getting full, but we're gonna try this paella. Seafood paella. You guys saw how messy that was, right? 
Okay. I feel like I taste a hint of corn in here. It comes with all kinds of seafood. And then you get a lock and tail on top. I never had paella with lobster before. Crazy. So that paella was good. Uh, let's go see how was the pasta. Was it good? Really? All right, let's go try some pasta. Como uh, dice mushroom in Espanol? Bongo. Bongo. Two glasses. And then we're gonna add some pasta in there, and then we're gonna top it up with some marinara sauce. And there we have it. Final products. All right, glasses. And then we're gonna come over here, and then we're gonna add some meatball to this. Oh. Let's try this uh, freshly made pasta. I asked for a little bit, but she gave me a lot, so I know a lot of you guys are gonna say. You come here to a seafood buffet and you eat pasta. I just wanna get and try it out for you guys to see. You know, it's good. Mm. That was good, and now I am stuck. Right. So, did I eat $120 worth of stuff? Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't think I ate $120 worth of stuff, but uh, the experience was very, you know, it was for more for the experience, you know? Eating at this hotel that was built since the 1920, you know, where, the day where Al Capone used to visit this place, or the president, and it's just crazy, you know? You guys some more of that? Look at my son. Look at my wife. And they were nice enough to bring over a uh, congratulation cake for our anniversary, the day we first met. Remember when I told you guys earlier, if I'm lucky, I make it out uh, with less than uh, 500. So for our total, for two Sunday brunch, 240, plus one uh, Sunday Brunch kit, 55. Subtotal is 2.95. They add in the service charge of $59, a restaurant tax of 26.55, retail tax of 4.13. So for a total of 3.84.68. Thank you, Debbie. Fill that out for me there. Thank Thanks, you sir. so much for Thanks. coming out. Have a great rest of your night. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna put in $41.32 for extra tip to make it come out to be 426 even. And thank you for the awesome service, Matt and Mr. Irwin. All right, I'm gonna go get the dessert. I'm gonna grab one of this chocolate mousse. I'm gonna grab some of this French macaroon. And you have to try this chocolate cream puff. They're really good. And just like that, it started raining. That is uh, Miami weather for you. There's nothing better than eating ice cream in the rain. And enjoy some fresh food. And this chocolate cream puff, so good. Look at this, guys. Uh, is it okay if I get two glasses of ice? What's it? You want a glass of ice? Yeah, two of them. That was a very satisfying meal. Um, did I think we ate 420 double stuff? Probably not. Maybe 120 at max. But the thing is that we're paying for the experience. Uh, Matthew and Edwin did a good job on the service. Um, the mosa, it never went down. Uh, even though I don't drink it, my wife should take advantage of it. Uh, I thought everything was good. The um, food was really good, especially the seafood. I can eat king crab, I can eat lobsters, and then on top of that, you see the seafood paella. Man, that was huge. Oh yeah, uh, $120 is a little bit steep, 
I think this is the most expensive buffet I've ever been to, but I think it's worth it. They only offer this uh, once a week on Sunday, and you do have to uh, reserve in advance. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much if you stayed to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon. You're gonna see stuff in here from the 1920. Right here? Yeah. They have birds here. Yeah, and they have birds over there. Right over here, we have like the stuff from the, when the hotel first opened. Look at this, Biltmore, China, 1926. So this plate is 97 year old. That's crazy. And you know it's fancy when you have a lady playing the harp right in the lobby. I don't know if you guys can see, but right in the bottom, there's a courtyard. I think we're gonna go anywhere to eat tonight. Uh, we're gonna stop by this place, uh, this market called Ensign Market. I heard they have like really cheap seafood here. So we're gonna go inside and uh, see what we can find for dinner. So let's go. Look at this guy. Miss how much he loves noodle. Wow, beef tomahawk steak is only $6.99 per pound. That's dirt cheap. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's $9.99 for lobsters. That's crazy. Look at this little guy. You like the lobster go? The seafood here is so cheap. Like the lobster we just got was only $9.99 for each. Right, they got mussel, they got clam, and what we ate earlier, king crab, $39.99 per pound. And we did the all you can eat. And how many lobster we got? We got three. <laughs> it's four. We got four. One, two, three, four. What? We got four lobster. One for each of us. All right, let's go. All right, so dinner tonight come out to be $99.99. So I'm just minding my own business, driving home to eat the uh, lobster hot pot tonight. And then as I was uh, making a right turn, I see this tamarind tree at the gas station. And there's a bunch of tamarind in there. This is why I love Miami so much. Look at this. Tree full of tamarind. And good thing I got my stick. Look at that. One, two, three. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> After a few try, this is what I got. Look at this. All right. I'm gonna try some right here, right now. I brought my own salt with chilies, pepper. Oh. And I know your mouth is watering. My mouth is watering right now too, so. Man, that's why I love Miami so much. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. They're sour, but in a good way. So after an hour, they are still alive. So I'm just gonna boil them up and then uh, we eat it with the uh, hot pot. It's, it's not hot pot, it's basically just uh, me cooking the noodle and throwing these in. Mm, man, the camera is so cheap. Only $9.99 for one. Crazy. And here we have it folks. Boiled and ready to eat. You know, now that I think about it, it's like, I only have to eat six of this lobster just to even my money. That Boston lobster feast. Yeah, if the market can sell to you for $9.99, yeah, I wonder how much they get them for. My wife and the kid are asleep. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, de these lobsters so when they wake up, they can just eat. Yes, I know, it's bad for you. And then we're gonna throw some of this noodle in. Ready. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready. 
Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. So we're gonna grab one of this lobster. Dip in the sauce. Mmm. Oh man, it's good. Uh, the fresh lobster still moving. I'm gonna end the video right here. It's been a long video already, so I don't know how I'm gonna put all this together. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for the last time, thank you so much for staying tuned in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I will see you soon.